Hello everyone, welcome to another productivity video. I'm super excited to discuss this one. Today we'll be discussing Canva, which is basically a tool for images. Something like Photoshop, but not really. Let's get started. Before we get started, I have to let you know this is a freemium software. That means you can get most of the features for free, but if you want the extra features, templates, images, videos, then you will have to pay for it. Starting off with your homepage, once you log in, you can actually search for almost any template. We're going to start off with YouTube since we're using YouTube. Now there are hundreds of free templates you can use for absolutely free. Again, pro version, you get more templates, but the free version is just as good. Now in the templates on the free version, you got thumbnails, channel art, icon, even outros, basically everything you need for your YouTube channel. Now YouTube isn't the only thing they support. They support Facebook, Instagram, pretty much any major social media, and they have templates for everything. Not only social media, they have posters, presentations, infographics, and basically anything you want to design. Alright, enough of that. Let's get into Canva and see all the features that we can use. Starting off with photos. Now you have a few different selections. You can either use the free ones or you can use the pro version which gives you access to all the photos or you can upload your own photo by simply just dragging it from your desktop into your actual Canva workspace. Elements. They're pretty special in Canva for multiple reasons. One, it acts as a, um, let's say, clip art. If you were using Microsoft back in the day, that's basically what clip art is. But the good thing here is you can actually drag whatever image or search for an image that suits your product and you can modify the colors and make sure it matches your pictures. Another cool feature would be the frames. Under elements, you go to frames and then you can see multiple templates. I'm just going to drag one that suits my design. Again, this is a random design, but you can go into photos again, uploading your own photo or using the photos that they do provide and you can just drag and drop. Obviously, these aren't going to do anything because they're just random, but you can see how that can be used as part of your design. Now I just want to dive a little bit deeper when it comes down to frames. There's another cool feature. Um, you can actually have frames that are part of your actual design itself. So for example, you can just drag something random. Let's see, something along the lines of um, a circle. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then again, same thing. You just drag whichever photo you see fit and you have it as part of the design. Now, the nice thing is there's actually multiple templates that you can drag just like that. You don't need to use Photoshop. You don't need to spend any time. Just simply click, drag, drop, and then put the photo. You're good to go. We can't forget about one of the most exciting features in the software and that's text. That's what you're going to write. That's what the customers are going to look at or the users or the viewers or whatever the case is. And again, with Canva, super, super simple. You're going under text into templates and then you can see all the templates that they provide. And it's as simple as just clicking, updating the text. You can also adjust the size of the text. You can also adjust the width and you can adjust center, alignment, whichever you want. Super easy to customize, super quick, and it looks incredibly professional. All right, guys, finally, one more thing I'm going to do just as a bonus. They actually introduced video editing as well. Now, this is pretty cool because I'm actually going to use the outro in this exact video. You just go check whatever template you want, super easy to edit. You can either put a video within the actual template or you can put a picture or you can modify whatever we've discussed earlier and even more options. Once you're done, you just click preview and then you can see what you edited and when you're done, download the video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It takes a lot of time to prepare these videos even though it's only five minutes long. I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, most importantly, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks again, guys. See ya.